Craig from Yes Have Some here. I'm trying to get organized. I'm trying to figure out just how to get my life back in order after this insane weekend that we just had in New York City uh, for the big New York Comic Con premiere of Ghostbusters Afterlife. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And uh, for those of you joining me live, I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be trying to do a lot more of these live streams here on the channel as much as possible leading up to uh, obviously all these big events like the release of Ghostbusters Afterlife, Hasbro PulseCon and things like that. So if you're here and you're hanging out, thank you very much. I'm going to be monitoring the chat uh, just a little bit. And uh, the reason I'm here today is because uh, I got a piece of mail today. I got something in the mail. Now, we just got back from New York City yesterday. Uh, yesterday morning, we did our big live stream last night uh, where we uh, kind of talked about some of our uh, our thoughts and feelings about attending New York Comic Con and uh, just how insane it was to be there watching Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, for the first time uh, in a group of uh, 2,000 uh, screaming and adoring Ghostbusters fans. So it was uh, it was unbelievable, and uh, everybody said, "Slow down." You guys are going too hard. There's too much content, and uh, that's how I. Uh, that's that. That's what triggers me to keep going, more, more, more. So here's the deal. Um, I was uh, surprised because today's a, a a holiday, and I didn't know we were going to be getting any mail. But I got a package on my front doorstep this morning. Something I was not expecting. Something that was sent to us uh, for free. I should always mention that this was. Uh, 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 do I have something in my? How are we doing there? I just ate some uh, waffle from IHOP. I ate waffle from IHOP. That's a sentence that I just said. Um, but if you're new to the channel and you haven't been here before, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you put on those notifications so you can see when we're live, when we put up new content, new videos. And uh, you can join us for our live toy show every Tuesday night on uh, YouTube, Toy Anxiety, uh, which is being preempted this week because I think... I'm going to sleep for the next week. Um, but let's not bury the lead anymore. So I got this package in the mail this morning. Uh, it did not have a label on it, but it was from Rhode Island, which can only mean one thing. Yes, it's Family Guy related. Uh, I'm not going to do any bad Family Guy impressions. No, it's not Family Guy related. It's from Hasbro. So let's go ahead and see what Mr. Hasbro decided to send over to YHS. And I hope everybody is uh, doing well out there. And if you're watching this after the fact, I hope that you enjoy whatever is about to happen. All right, so here we go. In the mail, we received this beautiful box. Now, anybody who collected the Maddie Collector Ghostbusters props has seen a box pretty similar to this before. So this looks like a, an old wooden crate, this big, big ass box here. And uh, it's got the, uh, the Ghostbusters Afterlife No Ghost uh, logo right there on the box, big and bold. And it says training kit. So we have the Ghostbusters training kit from Hasbro, uh, which I'm super excited about. Literally, the box might be the best part, although I have not opened this yet. So maybe there's treasures inside that make the box look like nothing. But I'm a sucker for packaging and I'm a sucker for Ghostbusters. So uh, here, well, 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 uh, here we are. Jeff Goldblum. Okay, so let's take a look at the box. It looks like an old crate. It's got these printed on, um, you know, what do you call those things? Ray Cameron's in the chat. He'll know. The, uh, the little hinges there, right? And it looks like it's got nails in it. And then it's got the caution stripe with splatters of, uh, I just said potato. <laughs> you know how Ghostbusters always has those potatoes? Uh, no, it has splats, uh, splatters of marshmallow there in the torn up caution tape. Um, so let's go ahead and inspect the box and look at all the graphics. So we've got the Hasbro logo there. I'm trying to get it in the picture. So right here, whoops, we've got the, the graphic art from the Ecto-1 uh, box, right? The, the new Ecto-1 with Phoebe hanging outside on the uh, gunner seat there. And then we've got this really, let me see if I can't. I'm going to have to hold it like this because it's really big. Uh, we've got our, our mini puffs here. Uh, this cute uh, this cute gathering of, let's see, five mini puffs there. That guy's got his tongue out. I uh, hope you can see that. Very cute. And then we've got like marshmallow graphics uh, leaking out from the sides there. Okay. Right here, we have the uh, some more mini puffs. I believe this is part of the packaging that's used for the uh, mini puffed mini... Uh, 
What do you think? The the little mini mini ghosts, the mystery minis. That's what we got. The mystery mini puffs. Uh, yeah, it's the overall art, uh, right? It's uh, so there's two different kinds of uh, box art for the Ecto one. Um, this one has her in her overalls, not her uh, flight suit. Okay. All right, so then we go to the other side of the box, and this is really cool. We've got our uh, Fright Features art from the four uh, Ghostbusters there. So you got Phoebe, Trevor, Lucky, and Podcast. Say it. Know it. Know your new Ghostbusters, all right? Don't go in blind. Um, this is really cool art. I really enjoy it. All four of them wielding uh, proton packs, and uh, yeah, just awesome. Awesome to see. I love this box. I don't believe this box is going to be something that you can get. I think it's kind of like a, a special thing they sent out to people like us who will, you know, get on YouTube and uh, rant about it. And then right here, this thing's heavy. We've got uh, Mr. Muncher. Uh, Muncher there. Um, that's from the uh, the box art, the card art from the Fright Features Muncher figure. All right. So I'm going to have to set this down as I pull things out of it. Um but I wanted to make sure I, I covered the box in depth. And then I'm going to, let's see if I can't. Here comes the big reveal. I've not opened this thing yet. So we, uh, what if it, like a glow came out? Like a, ah, no, it's not that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. So it's, it's, it's packed tight with stuff. Okay. So let, let's, something just fell out. Let's, let's see what we got here. There are uh, two kind of like uh, cardboard flyers in here. So we can just uh, see what this is all about. So the first one is um, you and your young Ghostbusters fans. <laughs> I don't have any young Ghostbusters fans. I got a bunch of middle-aged Ghostbusters fans. You and your young Ghostbusters fans are receiving this official Ghostbusters package because supernatural activity and spooky ghosts have been discovered in your area so basically this is kind of a rundown of what is in the box right um and they're asking for folks to uh you know document their 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 paranormal findings on social media and things like that so what i'm guessing is this is going to be sent out to uh, a lot of those like parent blogs influencers things like that anybody with kids right so this is supposed to go to kids it goes to yes have some uh so Hey, what, what, what can you say? We're, we're kids at heart, and I find a kid that's going to have more fun with this box than me. I'll put the box on my back and wear like a proton pack if you don't want If you don't uh, believe me, uh, then don't try me. All right, so there's just a bunch of information on there. Um, and it, this, this flyer uses all the graphics uh, that we've been seeing on the uh, packaging art for the new figures. So uh, very cool. Um, you know, if you know us, you know we really, really get hyped up on vintage... Uh, like packaging, promotional items, uh, and and anything related to Ghostbusters. So this is something that I, I treat, you know, there's going to be people who throw this box away. Not me. I think this is very exciting. So let's look at the, uh, the second thing here. This is the Ghostbusters Certificate of Ghost Bustin' Expertise. So uh, this is your cadet certificate, all right? They've been begging for those. All the franchises are begging for those certificates. Well, here we are. Um, now, I'm not going to write my name on this. I will not deface this, but here we go. Uh, it says, welcome to the Ghostbusters team. You have hereby completed the Ghost Bustin' training. Should I read this in my accurate voice? I feel like it is. Oh, boy, Ghostbusters. The certificate of Ghostbusting expertise. Welcome to the Ghostbusters team. You have hereby completed the Ghost Bustin' training and are now recognized as official member of the Hasbro Ghostbusters Club. Ghostbusting orientation and training 101 on this 19th day of November in the year 2021 and a bottle of Crystal Head Five gotta go along with it. Uh, no, there's no crystal head. I promise. That's not for the children. And then there's a uh, boy. They're just <laughs> just just giving it all away. Phoebe Spangler, Trevor Spangler, podcast, and Lucky. There you have it, folks. If you didn't know, now you know. All right. I don't. I don't think that's anything anybody would consider uh, spoiler territory. And then the back, it just has uh, Ghostbusters social media. Um, listen, they're doing a great job. I'm really excited about this partnership between Sony and Hasbro right now. I really feel like, um, 
it's a it's just great there's the merchandising has been great the promotions have been great we are just now at kind of the tip of the iceberg with what the next six to seven weeks of ghostbusters merchandising and promotion looks like so uh just strap yourself in it's going to be very very exciting uh we've got a lot going on in the chat in the comments so thank you guys so much for hanging out um let's go ahead and see what's in here i'm not going to bring the box back up There's a bunch of stuff in here. And listen, I probably have all this already. Let's face it. But, okay. So, first of all, we do have a Fright Feature Stay Puffed, a Fright Feature Slimer, and a Fright Features Muncher. Now, these are figures that I've already uh, picked up, um, but this is great, right? They're sending these out to kids. They're getting them pumped up and ready for the new movie. So, I honestly think... This is great. If I was a kid and I got a free muncher and a free Stay Puff and a free Slimer in the mail, come on. Give me a break. Um, by the way, my plan is to keep all of the contents of this box intact. As one. I, I consider this whole set as one piece of merchandise. So this will be a complete uh you know a complete package deal and then 30 years from now i'll sell it to one of you and be unbelievably rich and you'll be jealous on instagram and say how did he even get that thing okay what else we got we got okay it's packaged kind of tight so give me give me a break hold on all right so we've got the pke taser now um, I love the, the innovation here. Uh, this thing's really cool and, uh, I'm not going to obviously take this out and put batteries in it or anything right now, but the PKE meter is the, uh, quintessential piece of handheld ghost busting equipment. Any Ghostbuster needs this and it's from the original movie. It's featured apparently in the new movie and, uh, this, you know, the PKE meter that we had when we were kids, the Kenner PK meter was obviously very cool and I'm very nostalgic for it, but this looks more like, uh, a traditional PKE meter. I think the sizing on this might be closer than like the spirit PKE meter. I'll have to like put this next to my Maddie collector PKE and see, uh, see how close that is. So, um, awesome. I'm glad they sent that over one second. Let's see what else we got. Now there's a couple cans. There we go. There's four cans of the, uh, stay puffed, uh, mini puffs. Now I wonder if the parents who are getting, uh, these are going to be super, super excited to dig into this marshmallow slime, uh, with their, uh, with their kids. So, um, four cans of these, uh, the, I think the idea here is you get your kids, you open your munchers, you get your mini puffs, then you get out some of this equipment and you bust some ghosts. So, uh, very awesome. Let's see what else we got here. We've got the beautiful, the Ghostbusters proton blaster mod mod um these have been out for a while so this is kind of the modular uh neutrona one the more deluxe electronic uh, neutrona one uh if i was a kid and i had this i would be freaking out i'm an adult and i have this and i'm actually freaking out so i really like what they did with this new equipment um they went back to that kenner blue uh it's it's so it's new and it's fun but it's kind of like a throwback as well uh, so you can, uh, I, listen, they're appealing to this stuff, even though it's obviously focused at kids is going to appeal to collectors. If you like Kenner real ghostbusters and you're walking through the toy aisle, all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, did I have that as a kid? And then you're like, no, but that looks similar. I better buy two just in case. All right. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and set those down. Just a couple more things. We've got the, uh, ghost whistle here. Um, I think they maybe took some liberties with what a ghost whistle is and what a ghost whistle could be. I don't know if these are already battery loaded or not, but it's got the, there you go. Hmm. Sounds like it could be muncher. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I love these. These are great sound effects. All right, so you can just get a bunch of stuff from the movie. Um, I'm going to put that on the off position. I don't know. Anyways, this thing's really cool. I love the ghost whistle, uh, and uh, the packaging's really cool, and it also has a little hook on it, so you can kind of hook it to your belt or to your proton pack. 
And uh, that's amazing. And then there's one more thing in the box, which is, um, and these really haven't hit stores much yet. This is the the proton pack shell. So basically, it's kind of like you're building your your proton pack. You get your pack, you got your wand, you got your PK meter. You can hang the PK meter off of this. And uh, my ghost whistle's going off again. So um, I really like this, right? So. Let's talk about this from like a logistical standpoint. Well, actually, let's talk about this a little bit more. So um, this is uh, much closer to the design of an actual uh, movie style proton pack, right? Um, so they, they kind of went a little bit more painstakingly accurate to the uh, the the what you would see in uh, a real Ghostbusters proton pack. Not a real Ghostbusters, not like a can of real Ghostbusters proton pack, but a proton pack. So, um, you know, you've got your... Let's see how bad I am at naming proton packs uh, parts. You got your cyclotron here, and you've got your bumper and your your little tiny, barely protruding uh, bellows there. And then you've got your booster tube and your booster frame. And they even have like the, uh, well, actually they don't. Is it? Yeah, I mean, they. and then you got a little ion arm here. Um, just cool stuff. I mean, this this is definitely something more accurate to what you would see in the movie. Um, maybe you can even add a little ribbon cable to it if you so <laughs> they have the ribbon cable uh, attachment here with two holes, but there's no ribbon cable. So maybe that was in the plans and they just abandoned it. And like any true Ghostbusters fan, there's uh, caution stripes on the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the bumper there. So listen, I'm not a prop guy, okay? I'm not a prop guy. I, I know what I need to know. There's other people in the community that know everything i don't need to be that guy all right i'm the toy guy but yeah this thing's really cool uh, and i think these are only like 15 bucks so um really cool for a kid awesome so that's kind of it right so um kind of a genius uh, little package to send out to people to parents kids collectors whoever uh there's a lot of good stuff in there uh, hold on one second i guess i can show you what the inside of the box looks like and now that everything's out of it so, uh, this was the box again. Oh, there's, so it's got like, uh, these little cardboard pieces were just in there as kind of filling. Um, so that's cool. And then please read before posting. Oh, I guess I should have read this. Uh, if you decide to post your unboxing videos on your social channels or blog in accordance with da, 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 da. Okay, I have things I have to read. Hasbro gave this to me for free. I have to say that. Thanks, Hasbro, for giving me these products. I have to say that. Hashtag free product. Oh, they probably want me to write those things, not hashtag them. Okay, or not say them out loud. Um, okay, well... I'm going to write that stuff. I'm not going to... Hey, everybody, I went to Target and I bought this new training kit. There there probably is people in the Ghostbusters community who just make up a c complete fabricated story, but not me. I'm going to give you the straight the straight business. So yeah, this was sent to us by Hasbro, but um, this box... So one thing I've been trying to figure out is how am I going to display... Some of the stuff isn't so easy to just like... I don't want to hang it on the wall. And Sometimes like the Proton Pack and stuff, you can't get it on the shelf the right way. Now I've got this container this containment unit this training kit to store all the stuff and maybe i can uh finally get places in my life so again thank you so much to hasbro for sending this over um i've been obsessed with everything going on uh as far as ghostbusters toys and i i kind of feel like they're just getting started we got pulse con coming up here in the next uh, couple of weeks and then we're going to be able to see if there's any new like plasma series figures or props and things like that and hopefully like the kids focus stuff just keeps going it's not just going to be for the movie cycle and then it's done maybe we'll get more and more figures and ghosts and things like that so again to recap we've got uh, these awesome certificates. I'm not, somebody said earlier, I'm not going to write, yes, have some on this certificate. That would be in San, but, uh, I am going to cherish it forever and, uh, try to keep it mint condition. And then, um, yeah, an assortment of goodies and figures. And, uh, if I had to pick a favorite, I just really like the PKE meter. I think it's really cool. And, uh, you know, you got to get some batteries in there and then see all the, you know, all the stuff it does. But it's um, it's cool, man. It's ghost busting equipment. It's what you wanted your whole life. It's what we still want. So 
But that's it. So that's the Ghostbusters training kit from Hasbro. I very much appreciate them sending that over. And obviously, all this stuff is now available. Hitting Walmart pretty hard. It's been at Target for a little bit. And uh, it looks like they've got more stuff coming. The Ghost Gushers are starting to hit. The Slime Lab is starting to hit. And, uh, man, we've just got a really fun month or two happening uh, here on the uh, Yes Have Some podcast as we gear up for this release. Uh, We were so fortunate. I can just speak to this for a second. We were unbelievably fortunate and blessed and and all of those things to be able to see the movie at New York Comic Con. It was um, a tremendous experience and something we'll never forget and emotional and uh, just the, the amount of weight lifted off my shoulder after waiting for this movie for over 30 years. And then, of course, Waiting the last two years to finally see it has been, uh, I felt like I was like a living a miracle. Um, I felt like Kurt Russell with a hockey team. And what I will say is that there's a lot of new clips happening. There's new trailers. There's leaked stuff. If I were you, I'd avoid it all. Go in as fresh as possible. It's only a couple more weeks. And have that experience uh, that we were so fortunate to have. And I feel like this great responsibility to 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 keep my lips sealed about everything. Um, All I'll say is none of you are ready. That's what I keep telling people. People are like, tell me about it. I'm like, you're not ready. Even if I told you, you're not ready to hear what I'm going to be saying. So um, Abby also wants me to plug Patreon, which I will. If you are uh, a fan of what we do here at Yes Have Some, you can join us at patreon.com slash yes have some. And we have a ton of bonus audio content going out all the time. And, uh, it's a direct way to support us. The money goes directly to us and helps us do the things we do, keep the channel rolling and all of that stuff. We just dropped a couple new bonus episodes today. Abby uh, did her New York comic con journal uh, entry where she kind of kept a real time journal of what was going on on the trip. It's spoiler free, but it's really cool and really special. And uh, yeah, we also have a discord that's exclusive to Patreon. We have a lot of fun in there. And uh, if you just want to hang out with us, uh, no Patreon-related thing, you can join us on Yes Have Some Group Therapy on Facebook, which is the official Facebook group of Yes Have Some, Yes Have Some Podcast, Toy Anxiety, YHS on Monster Island, and all of the other things we do. Now, I'm going to go get my hands dirty. I'm going to go play with some toys. We will see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Yes Have Some. Subscribe if you're not already on the channel, and we will catch up here soon and talk more about Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters toys. Thanks again, Hasbro, for sending that over. Bye.